Hey folks, Quill18 here. I am still kind of sick, <clears throat> which is why I haven't recorded anything or announced anything yet today. But I am planning on doing Ludum Dare or Ludum Dare, the 48-hour game programming competition. Happens three times a year, and it's happening this weekend. It starts at 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, if you do go to LuddenDare.com, there'll be a countdown timer there. Or if you go over to twitch.tv slash Quillateen, where, of course, I'll be streaming it, you can do an exclamation mark next stream command in the chat and get a type countdown timer there. Typically, the stream on my channel goes live, or at least, you know, pre-stream party live by about 8 p.m. And then uh, we'll go live a little bit before the stream announcement. We talk about different ideas. We get the hype going. We listen to some tunes, etc., etc. Uh, everyone always asks, does it go on YouTube afterwards? Not generally. I do do uh, sometimes a time lapse and sometimes we do a... Um, I, I do post-mortems, right? Analysis of the game afterwards. Uh, but the actual raw footage doesn't get put up on YouTube because I'm always listening to music and just chilling and having a good time. And it's not really the sort of thing, well, because of the music, I can't put it up there. And I'm not going to not play music because I have to keep myself sane. It's part of my workflow. Anyway, at 9 p.m., as I said, that's when the theme gets announced. And that's when we start hacking away. I will have 48 hours from that point to make a game from scratch. I can't use any existing art, can't use any existing music. You can use APIs and code libraries so that you don't literally have to write everything from scratch and like assembly to start off with. Um, in the past, I have done every game except one has been done in Unity. I had talked about perhaps doing a, uh, a game in pure C Sharp this time, sort of an old school like text-based console, you know, like DOS kind of game or, or Unixy roguelike or, or something of that sort or like a BBS Doors game. Um, and that might still happen, although even if I do decide to go with a text-based game overall, a part of me is considering making a like a sort of virtual console inside of Unity, because it might actually be easier to port things um, to different systems like that. Like, I might make a game in pure C Sharp in the console that works great on Windows and find out that uh, the console terminal uh, system is different, at least the way that it's emulated in C-sharp on the Mac or Linux, which might make it a little bit hard to port over, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, we don't know what the theme is yet. There is a good list of themes here. If you do log in, you can vote yourself. Just vote on whatever you think is the most interesting and will lead to the biggest variety of games. You don't have to copy mine at all. Um, Ancient Technology did get the most votes in the preliminary rounds, so there's probably a good chance that we're going to see that just based on stats. Although, in the past, I think it's actually been very rare that the, up, the, the one that had been upvoted the most actually wins in the final round. Uh, but I would not mind if that happened. I think, some, as always, whenever you go to the, uh, to the main page and you check out the post about the main theme here and you look at the comments, 100% of the time, every Ludum Dare like clockwork, some people are like, oh, all these themes suck. Or there's specific debate about, like, see, this person doesn't want ancient technology. And then other people are like, no, it's, like, super good. They're super excited about it. I actually, I've been, I've been cram um, just trying to crank out a bunch of ideas. I've got, like, a dozen or more ideas for that one. So I'm totally prepped and pumped for ancient technology. I think we're actually getting a lot of variety. But a lot of the other ones have a lot of potential, too, including the ones I downvoted. I just downvoted because of, I don't know, whatever. It's semi-arbitrary, but... So yeah, we'll find out uh, in two hours from when I record this video, we will find out what theme it is, and then we are going to make a game. I do stream the whole thing, uh, I do stop for sleep, and I, you know, go for plenty of walks and have, you know, dinner and things like that. Gotta keep the energy levels up, gotta keep healthy, gotta keep the brain properly oxygenated, but um, other than that, I will be streaming the whole weekend. We have a great time. Uh, and again, I do work on it solo, but there's a lot of interaction with the chat. We talk about ideas, come up with the titles for the game. Uh, whenever possible, I put out test builds for people to try. Uh, the frequency of that will depend a little bit based on um, what, what kind of game structure there is. By the way, I'm going to put a link down below so that you can play. These are all my previous entries. I've entered 14 times so far in a row. This is going to be number 15 in a row, which is pretty crazy. You can play from my oldest game to the newest. The only one you can't play is Fish Tank Commander because it was a browser-based um, strategy game, uh, but the server for it, it no longer exists. So no Fish Tank Commander. But I think all the others, hopefully, uh, are still available. Hopefully all their links still work. Cross our fingers there. Uh, my top rated game, so every Let Him Dare gets maybe a couple of thousand entries. I mean, it, it varies. Um, I, I want, sorry, not that page. I want. Da, 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 da. Yeah, there you go. You can see total entries. So for the, um, 
Oh, recent events. Doesn't actually have Ludden Era 35, probably because it was a different page. But you can see here, 2,800 entries, 2,700 entries, 2,800 entries. If you have to go all the way back to Ludden Dare 28, quite a, in 2013, um, before you're just barely not in the 2,000 entries anymore, which is pretty crazy. Anyway, my top rated game, uh, obviously just in the 48 hour compo, is Drill 18 The Mars Project, which came in sixth overall. I was really happy about that. Uh, since then, the games haven't quite done as well, although they've all been top 100. Actually, I think they've all been top 50, now that I think about it. And in particular, I think that Growth Industries and Dr. Deckensteins are actually my two best games uh, significantly. In fact, I'm a really big fan of Dr. Deckenstein. I think it's my best work so far. Um, it didn't rank quite as highly because, you know, sometimes there's different moods and interest in things. Also, Dr. Deckenstein, I didn't have time to put in sound, which probably held it back a bit. But other than that, it's my favorite game. It's, I find it very challenging, very fun to play. It's the one that I actually have the most fun just playing with on my own. I mean, obviously, if you had more than 48 hours, I've had... If I had 72 hours, or in fact, if I had a couple of weeks, there'd probably be some other choices that I'd make differently in Dr. Deckenstein. But other than that, I find it really, really, really enjoyable. Really solid game. So we'll see what we end up doing this time, whether we do a text-based thing, whether we do something in Unity, whether we do something, you know, JavaScript-y in a browser. That's always a possibility as well, uh, especially since, uh, speaking of, like, text-based stuff, I had long thought about doing something like this. You know, I made like this this fake text-based kind of emulator kind of setup over here, which I thought would be, you know, a lot of fun. So that was a, a test game that I did that's pure in JavaScript. So I don't know what we're going to do. We're, we're going to find out when we uh, when we start. So coming out, twitch.tv slash quill18. Uh, hopefully my voice holds out. I have been resting it for the past couple of days. Uh, I, I, I'm mostly over the cold, still a little bit sniffly, and still my, my throat still feels uh, a little bit tight and a little scratchy. So that might impact us a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't impact my energy levels too much. Again, I've been trying to just take it rest the last two days because I knew I would have 48 hours of insanity ahead of me this weekend. So come on out. I will see you there. Bye-bye.